To challenge the task of designing our robot, we used a CAD software called SOLIDWORKS to manipulate and design all our prototyping for our robot. Through the help of mentors, we were able to calculate different forces and those different restraints on the actual robot, and how the different types of aluminum or sheet metal, those different types of materials actually correspond in the real world based off the SOLIDWORKS models that we had. The students uh, learned how to use CAD and uh, how to actually set tolerance levels so that actually when we went through um, inspection later on of those parts, we could make sure that those all those parts would fit together and mesh perfectly. Manufacturing has helped us a lot. You know, we have full access to professional manufacturing industry with all kinds of machines and drill presses and, um, you know, AccuCuts and the range of tools that we couldn't even use all of them if we wanted to. Not to mention we have mentors who will help us do anything and you know it's better than just going in a classroom and learning things that they teach you on paper you know you can go in there and they teach you hands-on and it, it gives you a whole different type of experience and you know it, it's okay if you mess up a little bit because we have a whole we, an open stock full of aluminum and all types of different metals that can give us a more professional and clean looking robot and you know, it really gives you a full experience of manufacturing. Something I learned with the help of mentors was soldering and also reading electrical schematics and wiring the robot throughout so that way everything would function correctly, nothing was too short or too long. Also something unique to our robot design is the photo board, which is wired up with the weight sensor so that way we could tell if we had any weighted rings or not. The goal for the software is to make it as simple and as easy and intuitive for the driver to use. Some unique elements of, of the software is we incorporated nudge control and position control. Nudge control means that the driver can just hit a button and it'll nudge a little bit uh, to the side or, or forward and backward. For community outreach, what we did is we took our robot to two different places. We showed our robot to River Ridge High School, the kids there, and they made their own robotics club. And we kind of inspired them to do that. We also took it to a, um, a STEM conference at USF Polytechnic. There, we showed our robot to different school board members of Florida to inspire them to incorporate robotics programs into their counties. Finally, we're going to show our robot to Governor Rick Scott to spread robotics programs all over the state of Florida. I've learned the benefits of working together as a team rather than just everybody working individually. We actually have to communicate to build our robot.